Hi guys, this is Eve Robbins. Uh, this is a ROM review on the Advent Vega. This time we're going to be looking at signage in Mod 7. Uh, this is from the nightly builds for the Vega and it's version 85 from the 23rd of May 2011. So there's only nightly builds with this at the moment, there's no stable or um, release candidates of it yet. So they're still kind of working the bugs out. So you will find a lot of things in this ROM that shouldn't be there and little tweaks that they are working on so for example on this at the minute it looks very much like a phone interface so we've got um, ADW as the launcher we've got the phone icon here like you do get with some of the ADW uh, based ROMs we've got messaging uh, I'm not sure if contacts is usually in the ROMs I've seen it a few but um, you can see it's a little bit jumpy and a little bit whizzy on there the camera does work in this, which is pretty good. I've not seen that working in uh, many custom ROMs. Um, I say many ROMs, many of the honeycomb based ROMs. Um, and the menu buttons at the bottom on this one say so you've got your menu buttons, sort of your home, your menu, your back. You've also got this extra button here, which is quick access to your notifications and a few extra little bits like Wi Fi, Bluetooth, location, and volume. So you've got a quick hide on that. Uh, we'll jump into settings and see here we've got a few extra ones over the basics. We've got sign engine mod settings, ADW launcher settings, uh, we've got profile settings which is more of a phone based thing. But I have made it say about tablet rather than about phone. So you can see there we're using um, the Vega with the sign engine mod kernel and we're using version 2.3.4 of Android. So sort of the latest and greatest of gingerbread. Um, there's a few apps in the uh, menu, so we've got a nice see-through background, so it just hides the desktop, it's uh, nice and transparent, and we've got things like dev tools, we've got DSP manager, which is kind of a an audio graphic equaliser, uh, we've got a theme chooser, so you can put themes on here and have your own different theme, uh, we've got super user, because it's a rooted ROM, terminal emulator, ROM manager, so we can once you've got this on and you're hooked up to your Wi-Fi, you can automatically grab the next nightly build of it. Um, but you've also got things in there that you've got things like voice dialer, messaging, phone. So you can go into the phone settings and it will think it's a phone. You can't actually make phone calls because there's no uh, SIM card or GSM in this. But it still attempts to use it so you can go to messaging. It's just like messaging on a phone. So like I said, they are working on a few bits. Um, it's a good ROM um, compared to some of the newer ones like the uh, Vegacone ROMs it's not quite there um, whereas more works in Cyanogen I prefer Vegacone or even Corvus, the Corvus 5 ROM um, this has just got a lot of settings that you'll never use um, so things like um, you can go in and change the size of your virtual memory um, or you can change your uh, lock screen memory but you can also go into the CPU settings and overclock it as part of the background settings so you don't need to set CPU which is a good thing uh, overall when Cynogen uh, got there and was a release candidate of it it will be better it won't have some of the phone bits and mobs in there and it will be a good ROM to use it will be a good option to go for uh, but at the minute, with the nightly builds, I wouldn't recommend you use it as an everyday ROM. Um, but by all means, have a play. It's not a bad ROM. It is very fast. That's one thing it has going for it. It's very fast. So I need a mod on any systems fast. On your phones, it's, you know, it can double the speed of some phones. Um, but on the Vega, it's not one I go for, really. Um, there is a few nice options in there, so you've got your, you can get a reboot and you can tell it what sort of reboot, so you can get a recovery, a bootloader you know, bits and mobs that should be in there um, but you, you've got bits that shouldn't be in there as well, so it's uh, a bit of a mixed bag so that's uh, Cyanogen Mod 7 version 85 from the 23rd of May 2011 um, as always, I'll stick a link to it in the notes below so you can grab it for yourself and have a play. 
Uh, definitely do a clockwork backup before you use it because like I say you won't want to use it as an everyday ROM uh, but by all means give it a try and leave a comment in the boxes below and let me know what, um, what you think to it and I'll see you guys next time